I'm Lauren, CLF athlete. I'm so excited to be here to train with Mr. Olympia himself. We're gonna hit a little back and biceps oh, today. Yeah. How are we feeling? Oh, I'm excited, let's go. I'm excited, this is my first time training yeah. here. We both have a lot of experience. Is this training. our first time? Training? Yes. We never have. We've wow, never trained before. that's true. We yeah. haven't. So yeah. I'm excited. Okay. We both love a back day. I'm gonna try and get some Mr. Try Olympia to get these biceps. wings. We'll see how it goes. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. I think we should let Lauren take I'm us through this workout. Yeah. Just don't kill me today, okay? Got to get those wide lats, those wings. Got to get that X frame. A this warm up one? sets, of course. Let's see if I'm tall enough. Let's see that mind muscle connection. We are warming up with lat pull downs. This is something that I myself particularly like to do on pretty much every back day. Start with the lats. For me and for most people, it's hardest to connect with the lat muscles. So finding good mind muscle connection right away in the workout as we're warming up and getting started is super crucial. So that way we're actually stimulating the muscles we're trying to train. For most people, it's harder to connect with the lat muscles rather than the traps and rear delts. So this is why we actually start off doing lat pull downs to connect with that muscle before we go on to do any rows and any trap movements. All jokes until we get into our set, you see? See how focused we are now? Perfect. We do like 35 reps to start off. I'm gonna do the same weight as Lauren today. You're gonna do it single arm? <laughs> yeah, who, who am I? Who am I, Lauren Finley? The warm up set, that was the warm up set everyone. We'll just say that these weights here are heavier, right? By the way, what the heck is this? Uh-oh, uh-oh, you feel that? Did you feel that lift off? Did you feel that lift off? For your back workouts, you said you like to do a lot of exercises, especially if you're like deep in a prep. Mm -hmm. You can have up to upwards of eight. Do you do like pull down row, pull down row, or do you like do all, or is there any method to the madness in terms of order of exercises? Usually after lap pull downs, I will go on to either doing barbell rows or some sort of rowing movement. I do try to keep it strict and keep it more in like the lat, the lower lats or lower back. Today, I was thinking we could possibly do cable pullovers. We keep hitting the lats and the serratus until we feel like it's pretty worked. I wouldn't say fully fatigued, but pretty worked. And then we go, so what I like to do is this, turn around here. We'll start off with the lats here and like, especially the lower lats. So all of this, we'll kind of start off with like the lower back. And as we continue on in our workout, we'll kind of move into like the mid back and then at the end of our workout, we'll do more of the upper back, the traps, rear delts, all that. Cool. So start with the lower back and lats and then okay. work your way up. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so exercise number two, we're going to do people pull over. I very rarely leave this out of a back row. Yeah. <laughs> and it's perfect to put either at the beginning, like kind of now our second exercise, first or second exercise, or at the end. So I'm thinking about pushing my palms straight down to the yeah. floor or kind of towards my feet like this, down, instead of pulling back. So when you do this, you're just, your lats will naturally come back like that, how they're supposed to, so. Something I also like to do too is, you know, there's four ways to stimulate a muscle, right? I think everybody pretty much knows you can go heavier in the weight, you can add more reps, but a lot of times people forget that tempo, speeding up the rep or slowing it down is gonna stimulate the muscle differently. And also how far you're stretching and how hard you're contracting. So distance more or less of the, of the rep. So like a day like today, again, trained the last three days, I can feel my lats are still pretty sore from back day a couple days ago. Instead of going, all right, well, I need to come in here and I need to slap on more weight or I need to beat last workout by another rep or two. Maybe we just go a little bit lighter and we switch up the tempo and get a bigger stretch, harder contraction, and change up the stimulus that way too. Yeah, so. I love that. Nobody trains calves, we need to train calves. I do train calves, you can tell. <laughs> We want to hit that mid back now. So mid, you're going to hit a little bit up here too, but if we can try to focus as much right there as possible. Yeah, all that's lighting up. Perfect. First two exercises, we're more here. Now we're moving it up into the mid back. Let's try out this bad boy. Dang. Cool. I sit here and then I get up on my next set. Okay, so we're gonna be doing barbell 21s to finish out our workout. We're gonna do a little burnout. Basically, we're gonna take the bar, come up halfway, first bottom half of the movement for seven reps. 
Or do we start at the top? Hey, you're the queen of 21s. I don't know. We're going to do seven reps from the top okay. of the movement. Then we're going to come down seven reps from the bottom half of the movement. Then we're going to do seven full reps, uh, full range of motion. So 21 reps in total. Come on, everything you got. Let's go. I thought I was going to be heavy, and then I remembered. I'm trying to go back to back. Period. What's a little weight to a... <laughs> we just wrapped up an awesome back and biceps workout, learning some tricks from the best of the best. I mean, I had a good session. It was good fun. Pump. It was it's fun. good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm feeling like uh, it's time to go eat, though. You got to put the put the food to work, you know. He ain't missing no meals, so we got to go get this protein <laughs> in. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.